welcome everyone. It's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. And yes, it is drizzling. It is cold. And we're in, what, mid-August? Second week of August, and this is the kind of weather we're having. Anyways, to the issues that I want to talk about today. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. Shut up! Fire and fury. Those are the words he said. Fire and fury. Between the two of them, you got Trump, supposedly representing the United States, King, Kim Jong, I don't remember his name, him representing North Korea. You got two little kids running two big nations with weapons of mass destructions at their fingertips. And that's the bad part about it. You have Trump retaliating to what Kim Jong saying up there, and Kim Jong retaliating with words because of Trump's. It's more like he did it first. I started it. He did this. I did this. That's exactly what's going on with these two. And it's scary, annoying, more scary than annoying because they have the power to pretty much do whatever they want right now. Now you have North Korea trying to do some missile tests, missile launching, and they're threatening the coast of Guam, and they're threatening Guam at the same time. Then the guy at the White House, all he has to say is that if he does anything, fire and fury, fire and fury. That's what he said. Now this is where the him not being in politics, him coming off the streets to be given one of the highest, you know, seats in poli politics history. This is where the, the street in him comes out because what he's doing, he's already provoking a crazy guy up in North Korea. He's already telling him, if you do this, this is what we're gonna do to you. So of course now you're pissing off now you're pissing off North Koreans and the president up there because of what he said. Eight years that Obama was in office, eight years that he was in office, there was tension with North Korea, but they found a diplomatic, more civil way to calm, de-escalate the situation. 200 days into office, and all he's doing is provoking He's making fun of North Korean leaders, telling them, go ahead and do it, because if you did, we'll fire back. Fire and fury. Remember, that's what he said, fire and fury. I mean, come on. You're not a president. You're not diplomatic when it comes to these situations. You're like provoking someone by teasing them, by pretty much accepting his challenge. North Korea challenged, you're provoking him by accepting his challenge. You know better than he is right now. What kills me even more is that he has political advisors. I know he has someone telling him what to say and what not to say. Knowing him, he's not listening and he's just provoking, making the tension more, more tense. See, one thing they gotta understand that this is North Korea versus Donald Trump. Not North Korea versus the United States. Not Kim, Kim Jong-un versus the United States. It's North Korea versus Donald Trump because Donald Trump is the reason why North Korea is being hostile on us. His remarks, his actions, very unprofessional, unprecedented-like to be a president to be speaking the way he does. I mean, again, for eight years, eight years, Barack Obama was in office. Not one time did we have an issue with North Korea. They made threats. They talked about what they were going to do. The party, Obama's party, his cabinet, quick conversation with North Korea, and it was settled and handled. Again, this whole thing, it's between Donald Trump and North Korea. 
United States has nothing to do with this because if this was diplomatic in any way, if this was conducted in any diplomatic way, Donald Trump will try to defuse the situation instead of pushing buttons and pissing off North Korea and Kim Jong-un. Because that's what he's doing right now. He's pissing them off. He's making all these threats. And guess what? North Korea is biting on the threats. North Korea is getting upset because, you know, again, Donald Trump and his little rants and his raves are, are just pissing off Kim Jong-un. And then guess what? Next thing you know, Guam is in the middle of all this because he said he's going to bomb Guam. So now what? So yes, if we go into war, it's because of Trump, not because of the United States, not because of, you know, if there was a diplomatic situation, if he was a good president, then this would be diffused and not, you know, pushed to where Kim Jong-un is going to push the button any minute now. You know, they said within the next couple of weeks, even within the next couple of days, they're going to do a test fire to see how far to Guam they could actually make it. And rumor is there is a warhead that has nuclear capability. Then what? Then what? Again, Trump, you're terrible. You're a terrible president. You're going to cause this great nation into war that we can prevent because you're too busy being a dumbass and a thug instead of a president. You're not the people's president. You're not anybody's president. You're a president to yourself, and that's it. All right, guys, I'm hungry. I'm done with work. I'm done with ranting. Hopefully, we find a peaceful resolution with this whole North Korea thing and, and figure this whole thing out. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. Peace is what we need, Donald Trump. Peace.